Operation and setup video for battery internal tester model number BK-300. Um, this is a pretty simple machine to use. Uh, first thing you want to do is go ahead and have this um, little add-on here module hooked up to the machine. It's uh, pretty simple to do. It's already hooked up, so I'm not gonna take it off. I'm just gonna show you. It's just this, uh, um, you know, Canon plug you screw in on the back of it. Uh, make sure it's tight, make sure it's hooked up to pro correctly. Um, then you will go ahead and uh, plug in the power. Here's the on off switch of the machine. There's also on off, main on off switch in the back. You want to make sure that's uh, flipped on. Um, but typically you don't have to shut that off. Go ahead and uh, turn on the machine. And then I'm just going to go over these uh, fun control panel, panel here really quickly. This meter here is the uh, resistance meter. And here is the voltage meter. Um, here's your main on off for the testing, which if you hit the button, you notice that the LED lit up and there's a alarm that sounds off. Here, you change the voltage settings. Uh, if you push the button down, if you put, push the button down, you uh, can test batteries up to two volts, or if you depress the button, you can test uh, batteries up to 20 volts, battery packs or single cells. And here, uh, same way, you push down for um, 200 uh, ohms of uh, resistance testing and uh, you depress to go up to 2,000 ohms of uh, 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 resistance testing. Um, here, this part here, it's pretty much um, possibly the only part you have to really change depends on what you're trying to test. Um, as you notice here, there's, uh, the numbers jumping on off, uh, which is quite normal. I mean, right now there's nothing hooked up here. If you have a battery hooked up here, it will show you the battery's uh, internal resistance. But um, as you notice, there's a red button here. Just let me show you what that does. If you press the button, as you notice, the resistance numbers start moving and it shows 40. Uh, the reason for that is because of the alarm um, uh, here, which th th this parameter here basically allow you to set up uh, where the alarm will sound off. As, as I move this knob, you notice that the numbers change. Uh, what this does is, that, for example, if you let's say you want to have a batch of battery that's pretty close to um, 30 ohms of internal resistance to build battery packs, because uh, you got to match the batteries uh, internal to build a proper battery pack, so that way you don't have any compati capacity issues uh, after you're done building a battery pack. Um, but for this test testing purpose, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, show you um, 40 ohms. Um, set up here and, and then just give you an idea what will happen. So right now I'm going to go ahead, This now it's pretty sensitive so you want to go ahead and just uh, get it in, you know, as close as you can, but right now it's showing 40. You can go ahead and just depress this button and you could um, hit the uh, start on off button here and as soon as I press this down you're going to have the alarm sound off which is normal. So we're going to go ahead, do that, you put a uh, battery on hand to the machine here and as soon as I do that the alarm stops and this shows here uh, 26.2 which is the actual internal resistance of this particular battery 33.33 volts and the reason why the alarm went off is, is it is because uh, we set up the uh, resistance limit at 40 ohms so that means if the battery does not go above that number it will not sound off at long and this particular battery is sitting at 26 and let me put another battery on here. This battery is the same way. Uh, and right now it's showing 27.6 and 3.29 volts. So it's not above 40 uh, ohms, so it's not sounding off. And let's say, let's do this particular battery. This, this is actually, we know this particular battery is above 40 ohms, but just to show you. And if you look at this meter here, right now it's showing 40.1 and the alarm's going off because it's above the 40 ohms limit and as uh, right now it's uh, going on and off because it's close and just to show you again here you go ahead and press down the button to set the ohms let's say a little bit higher so you notice the alarm will stop if you go down lower it will sound off again 
this is uh, pretty much it.